What's cracking people? Angelic Mayhem here. So, I wanted to make you aware of something that has come up this week. Uh, as some of you might be aware, there is a brand new Star Trek game that has just come out. Uh, this Star Trek game is based loosely on the movie, which was based loosely on the TV series, which is based loosely on our obsession with Gene Roddenberry. And I wanted to let you know that Star Trek the game, the developers who made it, have not released any copies to the press. Normally, that is a big, big, big alarm situation. Normally what happens is you know, a video game company will release a certain number of copies to the video game press so that they can take a look at the game and write up reviews. And as it happens, you know, the gaming press is almost always very lenient with things like that. So they give out 8s and 9s and out of 10 or whatever their stupid scale system is. But when a developer knows that their game is broken or crap, they will not give out copies so that people will go out and buy the game and they'll spend all the money hoping that it's good, totally blind. As a result of this situation, the lunatics over at Metacritic have begun to wage all-out war on each other. The people who have actually played the game, they're giving it a 1 out of 10, and the people who just put up blank 10 out of 10s, you know, at the beginning just because that's what they do, were upset that the people who actually played the game are now tanking it. So the two sides are having a complete screaming match on Metacritic about who is right and who is not. Now, that speaks more to the ridiculousness of Metacritic than it does to anything else, but that is a symptom of the problem. So, because Star Trek has not given out any of those release copies, I just wanted to make a quick video and let you know that that was the case, and that I would encourage you not to purchase Star Trek until you see a review on it, and find out whether it's good or bad or what. Uh, just a little bit of friendly advice, and... I'll see you next time.